Jordan is reading it. Yeah, I'm reading it. Oh my god, you it's guys are so loud. It's not that big. Ah! Or, yeah, three. it's not. Three? It's not this? that big, but the fact is the GPU is the problem. Oh no! Wait, let me see. Oh Should yeah. I... Yeah, uh, you, you only know to set now. Okay, uh, shall, Apex Legends. shall we get this uh, podcast started, guys, gentlemen? Alright, let's go. It's only 20.5 gigs, and the installer is about... Oh, it's an installer? Yeah, yeah well, when you get uh, all the um, Origin uh, thing to run it, then you download it, and then it's... But they give you an installer. I don't know what that thing is for, though. Oh, okay. I thought it was just like a single off game, like how GTA would be. No. Oh, okay. So uh... it's like it's like Epic Games. Um, it's like Epic Games own thing where I have a store and everything. Now Origin is the exact same like that. Are they working with Epic Games or? No, uh, Respawn. The people that create yeah, the yeah, yeah, Titan I, I know what Respawn is. On. They they're the ones that own it. Oh, okay. So. Let's get with the podcast. How's it going, guys? Uh, we're doing the podcast today. The battery dying podcast. You guys want to say hello? Yo. Oh. Okay, so basically what we're going to be doing in this is we got... I, I have a bunch of links over here on my side, uh, which I'm going to post onto Discord and we're going to uh, read it. And uh, yeah, I, I think, Jordan, you should start off with the first one. Okay, so I'm gonna post it into the uh, the chat over there. There's a link. So uh, go ahead and click on it, Jay. <laughs> and uh, read the title out loud once you uh, get on it. Okay, what is this? Really, out of the house. Okay. Okay, this is the first. Uh, yes, okay, so this is correct. So let me see. Let me just watch this video quick. <laughs> Broom wielding police chase a raccoon out of house. Believe it or not, this was on the seventh of February. <laughs> so welcome to twenty nineteen. Okay. Um so basically it's uh basically in Tennessee there was a raccoon that invaded this house and uh police instead of uh you know wow. s- rooting this towards animal control or whatever they decided to go into the house with a broom and chase it out. <laughs> I can see. If, uh, if, you, if you click onto the link and you go to um, the actual like site where it is, you'll see, and I quote, Home invasion suspect who escaped police custody. Suspect <laughs> is one. Suspect is one foot ten tall, approximately twelve pounds, and wearing a mask. Suspect is also believed to be armed with sharp teeth. If located, call the police department. Supply officers with a broom. <laughs> <laughs> not a, not laughing. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what well do we when stuff like this happens guy chases a raccoon out with a broomstick yeah <laughs> a, a police department on top of it all wow so what do you guys think of this <laughs> funny as hell <laughs> and any comments on this nonsense <laughs> what exactly do you think of this have you seen this criminal <laughs> Oh boy, I think I may have seen him once. It I, actually almost reminds me of something that happened to me a few years ago. You uh, about- you dressed up as a raccoon. What were you watching? What were you watching this next day and you thought that was the raccoon you saw? <laughs> no, no. Uh, he just went to go watch Avengers. No, no, no. A couple <laughs> of years ago, my family and I were vacationing in San City. Oh, okay. And you'll never believe what, you'll never believe okay. what I... My dad falls asleep in what front of me. What was it, a baboon that was shaped like a raccoon? Oh, that's actually a good one. Yeah. It might have been a baboon, yeah. Yes, it was a baboon. The yeah. baboon comes into our house. My dad is sleeping on the couch. The baboon puts his butt on my dad's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was so funny. My dad screamed. Tom stop screaming. <laughs> what the F is going on here? What? <laughs> Honestly, have you guys heard the deal with Fortnite now? What? With the, the whole ice, <laughs> the whole Fire King type thing released. You play Fortnite, right, Horizon? 
Yeah. When last have you actually played it? Yesterday. Okay, so last night. So do tell us what is new in the world of Fortnite. Mm -hmm. You suck. <laughs> what? What is new in the world of Fortnite? No, my my. Um, they took out my favorite gun, the heavy shotgun. Replaced the, most of the guns with suppressors, which I hated. They took out the, the heavy? skins aren't so good anymore. Thought it would be better. They, yeah, then they just kept the the legendary and purple pump. Oh well, that sucks. Mm. Okay, so I guess I shall take the uh, the next topic. Um. So this one was one that really interested me. I found a uh, the first time I saw this, I saw a video on it. Let me just load up the site really quickly, and then I can send the link. This one really interested me because it's like shaped like something we use almost every day, but it's dangerous as hell. So here we go, and uh, it's called USB Kill. Basically, what it is, it's a flash drive that has these resistors and stuff on it and it sucks up power so when it's plugged in it like it releases all that power into a device and it can blow up the entire motherboard and everything oh so it, it's used on like heavy machinery not the wrestlers but it's used on heavy machinery to uh test like the resistance of power um and it, it, it even says it here the usb uh, Kill 3.0 is a testing device created to test USB ports against power surge attacks. So basically, the the video that I saw about this was um, where they like tested this on different devices, and what they had done was they plugged it into a Dell, kind of like yours, Jay, and um, it completely fried the screen, but the battery still had power. So the screen went dead, and the keyboard and everything went dead, but there was still power. Uh, then they tested it on a phone. <laughs> with the OTG cable and uh, basically it rebooted the phone and the phone could still charge and everything but the data connection itself through the port completely fried which means you couldn't copy anything over onto it Whoa. so that is some scary stuff right here can you imagine if you just like send like if you have your PC just sitting there and someone just plugs in this USB because it looks are you guys on the site actually yeah, I'm on the site. Because if you look at it, it looks like an ordinary USB, right? Yeah. But that white part can actually just clip off really easily. And you can just replace it with any other cover. Oh, man. So, Why would somebody even make this stuff? Just to no, test no, no, this is to test like the surge uh, resistance. So like if, if there's a power surge on the ports, um, this is to test the resistance on it. So like if they make laptops and they make like... Uh, 700 laptops and out of the 700 they might test 100 with this just to make sure that it's uh, weird when you plug it in you can actually hear like a huge click and that's like the power going into it Whoa. so that's some scary stuff okay time for the what, what are your thoughts on it honestly um, I feel like this thing was made with good intentions but it sounds very dangerous it does honestly 